starring Dick Van Dyke. Rosemary. You may have heard in the news recently that Rosemary has died. Not Rosemary Clooney. Baby Rosemary has been in show business since she was three. Before Shirley Temple. Known for her deep voice as a kid on radio. By then, people started writing in letters saying, that's not a child, that's a 30-year-old midget. No child sings like that. And so NBC was affiliated with RKO at the time, and uh, they sent me out on a vaudeville tour. So I did 52 weeks of RKO theaters across the country to prove I was a child. She was aided in her career by big names in organized crime, like Al Capone and Bugsy Siegel, at the Flamingo Hotel, according to her recent biography documentary, Wait for Your Laugh. She is most known for her work as the strong female writer on The Dick Van Dyke Show, writing for the fictional Alan Brady Show as Sally Rogers. Back when women writers and strong women with some opinions weren't really seen on TV, pioneering a way for women in TV for the 1960s and 70s, and she continues to inspire. She even inspired me to wear a bow. I have been wearing a bow for as long as I can really remember since fashion choice was. I think that was my first fashion conscious, like I wanted to make this part of my look in honor of her, in honor of remembering what she did and how she inspired me to write. Uh, I had just about given up on writing and now I write for a living. So thank you, Rosemary. But her work wasn't just with The Dick Van Dyke Show. She starred alongside Doris Day and was a frequent square on Hollywood Squares, which was remade later with other guests and hosts Tom Bergeron. And she made many guest appearances. And she was even married to famous musician, trumpeter Bobby Guy. While she was 94, so it should have not been surprising of her passing, it kind of was, because in recent years she's kept active on Twitter, giving recipes, fighting against sexual harassment in Hollywood, and promoting her documentary. But there is no doubt that this baby has gone home and will be missed.